Hey Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always, okay? I return to source. I return to sender. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Listen. <sighs> Let me finish my prayer, my petition, and then I'll let you know why I'm laughing. I return to stories. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the viewers of white light. As I have said, so shall it be. <laughs> okay, so this tarot reading. So I had a dream last night where there was a masculine that was trying to force his way into a feminist energy's environment. So trying to either find out where you live, trying to get information about you. What I got was that this was someone who you were familiar with. So this could have been like an ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, something of that nature. So he was trying to come to your house. This person may have some type of legalities going on, maybe in need of some money or something like that. Or someone has gone through some type of awakening and they want to come back in your life to rekindle things with you, but they are being blocked out of your energy, thankfully, because this person is not really you. There is an ulterior motive for why this person wants to get into your energy, which is which I am, I am assuming is that someone is into some form of dark magic, manipulations and things like that. And he may know that someone else is interested in you and they may be coming towards you at some point to give you an offer. So this masculine is trying to, your ex or whoever this is, is trying to beat them to the punch. Now, before I sat down, I was gonna tell this story, this uh, talk to you guys about this dream. And I was thinking in my head, if the King of Cups comes out, then I know it's an ex-boyfriend or ex-husband. And then I'm shuffling my deck and the first card that comes out is the King of Cups. That's why I'm laughing. My goodness. Okay, so I guess this does have to do with the X. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but whoever you are, this masculine, I will stay far away from them. This is a plot for them to come in to have some type of victory with you. This person does have some type of ulterior motive for you. Someone sees you as like, is that something they're meant to control, have a hold of? Yeah. You see how that devil card was just showing? I promise you, I just saw the devil card when I said control. Someone feels entitled to you. They are like a false twin, possibly, or just a twin that went haywire. Now they want to come back in and rekindle things with you. Uh, maybe even... Like for some of you, it's to really just ask you for money. They have some issues going on. Or for others of you, it's really just to block your forward movements. They don't want to see you with anyone else. This is someone with some type of control issues. I'm telling you, they have issues going on behind the scenes. Someone could be homeless, and this is why they want to come towards you so you can give them a place to live. Someone, someone is in desperate need. If someone was like crazy when you were around them, or they just had like a questionable character. They are far worse now than they were before. And this is because like you have gone. So someone is not able to manifest off of you anymore. Someone is not able to use you. There's something where someone used to go around telling people that they didn't have any help. They were doing everything on their own or you were just a leech or something of that nature that you didn't contribute to the household or you didn't pay bills. You didn't take care of business. I'm telling you, this person is going through a hard time, a rough time. So if your ex is coming back into your energy, thread with caution for those of you that are into their lifestyle of going back to your ex being, being a rebound or something. Yeah, be careful. They're coming in because they know someone else wants to give you a commitment and they want to beat this person to the punch and give you a commitment, but they don't have anything going on really. Um, they know you're abundant. They know you're abundant. Someone may have heard that you either have some money coming in, you're moving on with your life, 
you've healed, you've recovered, you've learned from your mistakes of the past and things like that, and you are doing the necessary things that you need to do in order to move on with your life. They know someone is coming in to give you an offer, just like I said, and this is going to put you in an abundant energy. You're independent, possibly, or just a single woman, single man, uh, if it's a same-sex relationship. They know you're very independent. But they know someone is coming in to give to you and this is going to help you move on so like you're being set free from some type of situation and this person could have neglected you in the past and now that they know you have all of this abundance attached to your name they want to come in to rekindle things with you so they're hoping that you know they can come in and sweet talk you have you reminiscing about the past even though there's really nothing good to reminisce about in the past someone just wants to be around you so they can be able to take advantage of you block your forward movement there's something where it's like a masculine in his family or someone i don't know like there's something where either he's with a woman that's into black magic maybe she pays for the magic for the energy to be sent to you it's something like that going on but just be careful okay be careful with this person coming into your energy on the other hand there's a group that's going through some type of awakening and all of these people they are connected in some way shape or form and your ex will be the one that's connecting all of these uh all of these people in, within this group but there is a, another king of cups that may want to commit to you, make an offer to you. Um, so you will have two energies coming towards you. And maybe this is the energy that your ex is trying to block, right? Trying to prevent from giving you a genuine offer. Someone is very romantically interested in you. You're very healing. You give freely without any ulterior motive. So the other king of cups wants to present you with a new opportunity a new offer friendship something of that nature and it is something solid but your ex is trying to find you honey i'm telling you he's trying to find you he's looking for the target he's trying to find you so he may be calling people yeah he, he's not allowed in your energy there is something where a masculine is just being blocked out of your energy by your ancestors they don't want this person around you because someone is not you. Like someone is like almost like a monster. They're desperate and they're very pissed off throwing a fit behind the scenes. The fact that someone is still trying to give you an offer. So this person may have smeared your character, may have told people really nasty things about you. And the fact that someone is still coming in to give you this offer is pissing this masculine off. He's pissed off. Be very cautious. You all need to learn to stop going back and forth with your ex. You did not incarnate to be someone's rebound. They come into your life. They, you know, sprinkle, 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 sprinkle with you, like that lady says. And they just, you know, use you and then drop you and move back to a wife or some, something like that. Move on to, to the next woman. And then if it doesn't work out, what do they do? They come back to you and you're dumb enough to take them back. Do not go back to your ex. I don't know why people don't think. Do not go back to your exes. There's a reason like why you two split up. It's not a healthy dynamic. You left for a reason. The chapter ended for a reason. You were supposed to learn a lesson in that chapter. If the chapter has ended, that means you've learned a lesson. Like the per the per the purpose of that experience has been fulfilled. So why are you going backwards? Stop going to your exes. Some of you are with people. Yeah, stop going to your exes so you can live abundantly and have genuine connections with people. A lot of you want to have genuine relationships and things like that, but you're blocking it by going back to the past. You're blocking it by not being, you know, a. a I'm not saying like be the most abstinent person in the world being celibate and things like that. But when you are going around giving your backpack to everybody, your instrument to everybody, but then you want to have genuine love and things like that, that's not how it's work. It, that's not how it works. You're sending mixed messages. Uh, excuse me. You are sending mixed messages to the universe because if you go and lay with Paul, you go and lay with Mary, you go and lay with Jean, you go and lay with Johnny. 
And then you're telling the universe, I just want to have a, a genuine connection with someone. I'm so tired of people disappointing me. You are disappointing yourself. You are disappointing yourself. No one is disappointing you. Okay? No one is disappointing you. You are disappointing yourself because you don't have any boundaries. You don't have any uh, type of self-awareness. You don't have any limits. You'll go back to your ex. You'll sleep with anyone. No one's telling you to be Saint Teresa. And we know she wasn't even a saint with what she, with what she really did to people. Um, so you got to take responsibility and accountability for your actions. If you want to be out here in true love, you can't be out here being a public property and then expecting to find something genuine. Genuine people aren't going to tolerate that. Can you imagine being like a loose character and you want to go be with an empress energy and you know they can see right through you and they refuse your offer? Can you blame them? They know what you're about, what your intentions are. You want to sleep with that empress so you can move on to the next uh bear the, the next uh, obstacle because that's how you view women as obstacles to overcome once you conquer them what you move on to the next one someone walks around with a broken heart they want to have genuine connections with people but they're loose with their body this is a man as well like you sleep around but you're praying for a genuine connection you're refusing to do the work to heal but you want a genuine connection make it make sense sir make it make sense anyways back to this ring you have your ex coming in to cause you blockages and then you have a genuine offer that's coming in he wants to come in before the actual person that's supposed to be with you so that he can hinder that someone you were with was hindering your forward movement and your your blessings and you will have never received them if you will have stayed with this person so them coming back into your life is just them long prolonging that experience that blockage that stagnation okay someone is used to having control over you and they did it in such such a subtle way you didn't realize that they had a control over your life you didn't know they were blocking offers you could have even lived with someone for years not having any type of relations with them and they were out here blocking opportunities work opportunities resources and things like that for you because they were benefiting off of your blockages. Now that spirit removed you from this person, they wanna come back in now to have you back in this energy. Don't do it. You all need to find your self-worth. I don't care if people think you think that you're better than them because you reject their offers. Let them think that way. There's some type of healing that they need. That's why they see things that way. Everybody should have limits and boundaries when it comes to anything in life. You're dating, uh, what you eat, what you will uh, do, say, how you carry yourself. People need to have boundaries. But when you don't have boundaries, and that's what that's where you start feeling bothered when someone turns you down because you're not their type. People that don't have a type are the ones that get offended when you reject them. You need to have a type. But spirit wants you to know that you are protected. They are keeping this person out of your energy because. The offer they're coming in to give you is not a genuine offer. Someone is not you. They see that you've moved on with your life. You are moving on. You're committing yourself to your work, your improvement, things like that. And they want to come in and gaslight you. Gaslight you. This is a bluffer. They're just coming in to bluff you. So they're not being allowed in your energy. They're being blocked. You said this chapter is already over. This woman learned the lesson she was supposed to learn. This man learned the lesson he was supposed to learn. You didn't learn the lesson. So you're still stuck in a karmic chapter. Someone is stuck in like an old paradigm and you've like ascended to a whole different realm, right? A whole different dimension. And what they want to do is come into that dimension that they don't even resonate with and pluck you out of there to take you back into poverty. And that is part of the reason why they can't even make it to you because you two don't resonate on the same frequency. Think of being on like level one, you know, like being in kindergarten and then your friends, like they graduate and everything from, from elementary school, make it through middle school, go to high school, they started college and you're still stuck in the fifth grade. And you see your uh, uh, um, friends, you know, ascending, moving on, thriving in life. And you're, you become bitter because they're thriving. 
and you're feeling to realize it's because they did the work to thrive. They put in the work to heal and, you know, learn and improve themselves. They committed themselves to their healing, to their knowledge and things like that, to their ascension. But you're in the fifth grade. You're bitter. You've been there for whole, however many years. You see them going about their life and you say, I don't want them to have that. Who the heck are you to decide that? So now you want to go in their life to cause hindrances, hindrances and blockages because you don't want to see them prospering since you're not able to prosper. You're not able to prosper because this is your energy. You're hateful. You are hateful. That's why you're in that energy and you're never going to prosper until you let go of that energy. You're out here trying to call block, cause blockages for people, hindering other people forward movement, and you think that you are going to prosper in life. That's not how it works. The very act of you taking actions to block someone's income, block someone's forward movement, block someone's connections and things like that is magic. That's black magic. And there are consequences for those things. So this is why you will have to sit back and watch whoever this is that you're trying to destroy thriving life. Every single one of you, because I, I don't think this masculine is acting on his own. There are people behind the scenes that are working with him. And everyone that took action is going to go through some type of ending. Everything collected, don't you? Rest assured, don't you lose no sleep. Everything these people took from you, everything they blocked from you, they are losing 10 times over. 10 times over. Okay? Someone else, you have like a king of cups behind the scenes who's like a higher fence that has committed himself. This is someone you may work with. He's causing some type of blockages and manipulation. He's doing some type of devious work, playing mind games behind the scenes, and it's going to be revealed, okay? Whoever he's playing these mind games with knows what he's doing. So someone is going to have to cut it out. You have like a few people in your energy that are playing mind games with themselves, and they think they're playing with you. And they look so stupid because these are people that are even older than you. And you look at them like children because that's how they behave. Like children. But who I'm telling you, you're moving on. You put it into a chapter with whoever this toxic person is and you're moving on. You have a fresh start coming in and this person is trying to block it. Someone has been blocking your path for a long time. Some of you have been with these people for five, six, seven, eight, ten years. And you didn't, you did, you did not know what they were doing behind the scenes. You did not know. But spirit took charge of the situation and enabled you to move on. Now that you have your power back, you've taken your power back. Someone said, No, I have to control this person. I have to block this person. Someone feels entitled to you. They feel entitled to your energy. They've never met anyone like you. These people have never met anyone like you. They've been able to easily destroy other lives in the past with no problem. Some of these people have hired multiple practitioners behind the scenes to take you out, and the practitioners are walking away because they know who you are on a spiritual level. Some of them have tried and tried. You may have had even a high priestess that made it her mission to take you down and she's had to let it go because she's losing a lot. Someone may be going through poverty behind the scenes. I'm telling you, your ancestors stepped step in and took charge of the situation. The angels, they're taking charge. They're taking charge. They're not playing. So what they're doing now is going to be to cause separation amongst these people, this whole group. They're done. They're done. All this collaboration, I'm telling you, they're done. These people are living in fear, anxiety, trying to take measures to protect themselves now. Someone may be trying to protect their money and things like that because they're about to be losing a lot of money. But your ancestors are not playing. The angels are not playing. Judgment has been called and it's final. Every last person in here is going through an ending. These people are living in fear. Okay, you may have some of them that want to come in now to give you offers, talk to you, apologize to you because of what they're going through. 
Okay. There was a group that was misled by an energy. And now that clarity is in here, she's going through some ending or he's going through some type of ending. But there are some of them in this group. They want to come and reunite things with you. Seal onto karma waters with you. Ask you for your forgiveness. Because some, some of them in this group are realizing that they were lied to about you. That it's better to be friends with you than your enemy. You ever tried to come, you, have you ever tried to destroy someone and everything you do is not working, but your life is falling apart and you don't know why your life is falling apart and you are feeling to put two and two together? It's because of who you're coming after. So you're, th you're sending death spells to someone and you're the one that's sick and passing away. You're sending poverty spells to someone and you're the one that's homeless, losing your home. You're sending heartbreak spells to someone and you're the one going through a divorce or a breakup. And you, you're feeling to put two and two together. It's because of what you're doing to someone, the energy you're sending to someone else that has no ill intent for you, didn't do anything to you. So you're basically martyring yourself the whole time thinking that you are about to have some type of victory over an innocent person. Someone that's not even paying you any mind. It makes no freaking sense. Okay? I'm telling you, someone's not happy behind the scenes. And someone may be passing away. Someone may be sick. Someone has some type of plan or they're unhappy like the plan they came up with to destroy you did not work. It's a whole community that's going through some type of experience. They know why they're in this situation. They know why they're being rejected by the Most High. They know why their intentions for you, the spell works, everything is being rejected because you are heavily protected and you know what these people are doing or were do doing. And none of them are getting their fulfillment, their wish fulfillment. Their wishes are not coming through because this chapter is over. Like you dis you defeated, I'm not going to say destroyed. Because you don't, as a, a light worker, you don't come to destroy. You come to heal and recover. You've defeated a whole community without having to be spiteful and bitter towards them. But the whole time, that is the exact energy they were sending to you. And then walking out, causing illusions to a whole community, a whole group of people that you were the dark worker. You were the malicious one. You were the pretender. They were blocking opportunities for you. And look at this. Spirit is telling you your opportunities are still coming in. Okay? Your opportunities are still coming in. Some of you could have a company or like a business owner that wants to work with you behind the scenes. And this masculine that's wanting to come towards you knows about all of this. Because he's been busy behind the scenes. Destroying your character, destroying your livelihood, telling people that you were loose. You sold yourself online for some of you, all kinds of lies. And some of you are abstinent like myself over here. We don't just go around giving our backpack to anybody. And there's someone in here, he's committed to hiding the truth, but it's already out. I'm telling you. He wants to come back and have a relationship with you. It's not happening because this is being given to someone else. Okay, you're being set free from a toxic family, a toxic group. You are being removed. Something has been illuminated to this, either a couple or a community. Yeah, but what has really been going on? Right? Yeah, what has really been going on? That you're someone in the upright. You don't have time for childish games. These are people who they'll be doing manipulative tactics or doing stupid stuff. And you see it, you don't say anything, but they think they're getting one over you. No, you're just choosing not to say anything because it's really childish. It's immature. They grow up. That's like being like you've graduated, graduated college and a kindergartner wants, wants to play games with you, mind games with you. They want to seem like they're smarter than you. That's what this is liking to. So you just see things and you just 
See, you know what? I'll just let it be. I'll just let it be. Let, let them figure it out. Okay? Yeah, mind games. It's like childish mind games. Someone in here, whoever this ex is, is either married. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, this is a message for someone. This person is married and they're trapped in their marriage. They're not happy in this marriage. So they want to come in and block your forward movement, block any possibilities of you getting married. Someone is so unhappy in their marriage. Like it feels like they are in prison. They can't stand the person they're married to. Someone is overbearing. They may have gotten married for the wrong reason. So there could be a couple that's going through some type of legal issue. Someone could be going to jail. Like he has some type of legalities going on and he could end up going to jail or facing some type of legal consequences for some type of action he took against you. I'm telling you, this man here, he's going through some type of ending. Be mindful of letting this person back into your energy. Stop going back to your exes. When you go back to your exes, let me let me show you. Let me see if I can explain it to you because some of you, you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s and still out here acting like children, stuck with people that don't give two cents about you, just using you or they're just with you for convenience because them having a second person in the household, it makes it easier to pay the bill, but they can't stand you out cheating, doing all kinds of stuff, and you're still committed. Okay, delusional. When you go back to your ex, this is what you're doing. You are here with this person, okay? And you have go you you are going through some type of tumultuous experience with them. Things are toxic, right? Nothing is growing. You're not prospering. Nothing. You don't pour into each other. This person is like death in flesh. Everything they do. It's toxic. They're surrounded by darkness, right? You manage to get out of that and you seal on to common waters. You heal. You know, you when you first leave, listen, look, look, let me use this. Let me use this as an example, okay? You two are here, right? This is how the relationships always start. You're dreamy. You're in love with one another. You know, you have all of these plans, how you're going to conquer the world together, things like that. Someone does something right, stupid, leaves you out in the cold, goes and cheats and something like that. Now you're going through heartbreak, okay? And you decide, you know what? I'm going to leave them behind. They broke my heart. I'm going to go and move on with my life. So someone else comes in, they give you an offer, or you accept an offer, or you give your offer to someone else, right? Now you're living an abundant life. You're healed again. You are yourself, vibrant, lively. There's colors back in your life, right? You heal, you seal onto karma waters. You may even have a family now, new friends, things like that. Maybe you move to a new city. Maybe you move to a new town, went across country, something overseas. But you, you've healed or you're healing, you're moving on, right? You seal onto karma waters. You secure yourself in life. You perfected your skills. You've committed yourself to your path. You're, you're ascending all of this. You may even have been in a beautiful relationship, have a new family and things like that. And then here comes this moron that has lost everything because they're going through some type of karma to come and pull you back into here. And you, because you know, you are possibly reminiscing about how things used to be when they first started. You may not even take a few seconds to think about how abundant your life is. Maybe you're going through some type of temporary stagnation right now, but you don't see how abundant you are in life. So you accept an offer from the past. And now you're back into a karmic cycle. It's not going to be as smooth as it was before when you initially left the first time. You're not receiving a commitment when you come out of here. Your independence, your resources are going to be limited. You're going to have a hard time healing 
maybe even finding work or committing yourself to your businesses and things like that, removing your, I mean, it's going to be difficult. This is going to be you going through difficulties, endings. That's what happens every time you go back to your ex. You're relapsing. You know, like people that have, you know, drugs problem and they relapse. That's what you're doing to yourself. So someone here needs to hear that. That's possibly why all of this is coming out because you keep going back to the same person. They don't have any good intentions for you. Someone does not have good intentions for you. There's a masculine as well that's going through this. Your ex, she does not have any good intentions for you. She just does not want to see you with anyone else prospering. She don't want you in this energy. She does not want you in this energy here. Like, how dare you go and have an abundant life with someone else? Why, why would I let you do that? Right? Yeah, this is her. Anxious about you being in this energy here. Like, no, she doesn't even want to see it. You see how this person is turned away from here? They don't want to see that. They don't want to see that. Said, no, you're supposed to be karmic with me. You're not supposed to want to prosper in life. You're not supposed to want better for yourself. You're supposed to stay with me so I can keep torturing you, misleading you, gaslighting you, playing with your emotions, causing you heartbreaks. Someone possibly even cheats on you repeatedly and you've been a clown for years taking them back. What the heck is wrong with you? You have to have substance within yourself to know that you deserve better in life. People don't deserve, people don't decide for you what you deserve. You decide what you deserve in life. And people, some people are delusional to think that they have power over other people. This is why he thinks he can come in and cause you stagnation for you, the feminine energy, and for you, the masculine energy. This is why your ex has been doing this to you for years, because you've given your power away. You're dealing with some type of insecurity. You're not dealing with it as in trying to resolve it. You're holding on to it. You're walking around with a broken heart. Everything this woman has done to you has broken you. And you don't feel like you're going to get anything better when you go somewhere else. That's a lie. You see how it goes. Give your offer to someone else. Move on to calmer waters. Commit yourself to your healing and ascension. And this is you. You all have to learn how to get rid of this limiting mindset, that limited mindset that people have imposed on you. That's how they're able to control you. That's how they're able to control you. They make you feel like you need them. You don't need no mother effing person on this planet. The only person you need is the source, your ancestors and your angels. You don't need a mother effing person. It's an illusion. This is why people commit themselves to institutions, code covens, and things like that. And in those very institutions, what leave them out in the cold when you most need them? Think of gangs for a second. You join the gang and you have a whole brotherhood, sisterhood, whatever. They say we're family. When you get locked up, how many of them come to see you? How many of them put money on your books? Not a single person. They forget about you. But while you're in there, you're, you're fighting for your life. Trying not to drop the soap, excuse me. Trying to make sure no one's coming into your cell to, to do you something. Trying to make sure that, you know, uh, uh, you're staying out of trouble, but you know being in there, you live by two different rules. There's the prisoner's rules and there's the uh, the guard, the police or the guard rule, the prison rules. So you're stuck in between a hard place and a rock, right? A rock and a hard place. How are you going to obey two masters? You got to, you got to stick, you got to uh, respect the code of the prisoners. And you have to respect the policies of the jail. How do you do that? Right? You got to think that way. Stop letting people control you. Stop letting people play with your hearts. It's, it, it's, it's crazy. It is crazy. How much power people would give to other people over them. And we all have free will to be who we want to be, to be what we want to be. 
every single person you see on the planet you have the free will to decide your own destiny and you can change you can change honey you can change the trajectory of your life at any time you ever seen people they have a dream to go be a teacher because they love working with kids and things like that and they do it for years and they say well i'm not really fulfilled here or i've enjoyed this as much as i can now i want to go be you know a, 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 a a business owner and they go and do that that's you changing the trajectory of your life you have the ability and the freedom to do that at any time you want to get married today tomorrow you don't want to get married that's your business you're straight today tomorrow you don't want to be straight that's your business that's your free will the most high is not sitting around saying oh i don't like this person because they're not straight that's a lie. That is a lie. Your extra orientation is so irrelevant. <laughs> I mean, in a way, it's important because that's an experience we all have to go through in order to ascend. But the the most high, the spirit realm, they don't give two SHIT about your extra orientation. They don't care. It's how you go about things that matters. You can't be out here being a brute because you want things to go your way. You want to mend someone else into, you want to mold someone else into what you want them to be. That's not how it works. That's karma. That's you asking for problems. You need to heal. So someone in here, they want equal love, reciprocity, give and take, but they're not healed. They're not wanting to heal. So they're wanting to cause hindrances in someone else's life. That's not how it works. It's an illusion. You're under an illusion. You don't have any authority over anyone else. People that think they have that are delusional as heck. They think because they have a little bit of money and they have a lot of naive people under their control, they can tell what to do and they go and do it. They think they're all powerful until they fool around and come around someone like this, someone like this, someone like this. And they realize their power is a, an illusion. They don't have power. Because these types of people, they see things in which you cannot see it. Like you'll start a plan today and they already know how it's going to end for you. And so they'll just sit back. They'll just remove themselves from you. They just pull back. They'll just pull back. I'm telling you, they'll just pull back. Like I'm going to take my offer back. I'm going to take my energy back and they'll let you destroy yourself. So while you're busy stalking someone, sending people to stalk someone, I mean, they know, they know. And you know why they go to sleep good at night? Because they know if you try a mother effing thing on them, you're done. People are that secure within themselves to not fuss and fight about, you know, what a third party second party is doing trying to destroy them this is why a lot of you dark workers you'll put all of your energies and your money into destroying someone but you'll see that person having themselves a blissful life an abundant life walking around happy joyful even if they are alone they're happy and you don't understand why they're still getting a good night's sleep why are they still happy? Why are they still uh, committed to their work? Why are they still pushing forward? How are they having victory over me? I've done everything to destroy them. That's because you were under an illusion. You were gaslighting yourself, thinking you were gaslighting someone else. You've been bluffing yourself. You've misled yourself. Okay? You all need to, I don't, I don't, I'm telling you here there we go like the whole truth is out there i don't know if this is a couple for another uh, perspective of this story or whoever he got married to it's not working out whoever he's with is a nightmare he's a narcissist she's a narcissist so in a sense they are each other's match and then there's another couple in here that's being exposed 
for what they've been doing behind the scenes. They've been trying to hide this. It's a whole lot going on. And all of these people are focused on you. They know you are abundant and you have some type of offer coming in. You may not even know about because source is keeping this disc discreet from you. You may not even know about the offer that's coming to you. And you have people taking actions behind the scenes to block it. I'm telling you to end it. Coming up with plans on how to destroy you, how to defeat you. I'm telling you how to defeat you. This is what they want happening to you. You go from this to being put to rest. No one is putting you to rest. No one is putting you to rest. I'm telling you, no freaking body is putting you to rest. You're going to thrive in life. These will be situations where people will put in all of this energy to see you destroy, only to see you rise up. Some of these people are going to need you. Can you imagine how embarrassing that is? I have a secondhand embarrassment for, uh, uh, for things like this. You go through all of this extent to destroy someone, only to end up needing them. How do you ask them for help? Seems like that's what's going on with your ex. Something horrendous happened between the two of you or something just ridiculous happened. You moved on with your life. Now he needs you. You're nowhere to be found. You're not helping this. For, I wouldn't give any of my exes any help. It's not because of spite. I don't have any ill intentions for them. I've forgiven everybody. If they're forgiving me for anything I did to them, that's their business. If they have me, that's their business. I don't lose sleep over that stuff. But I've made sure to forgive every single one of them. But if they came into my life and needed help, I would be mindful of the help that I'm giving them. Because I don't know if I'm helping you so you can destroy me. I don't know if I'm giving you money so you can go pay for spell work to take me out. You got to be mindful. Someone could very well be coming into your energy to ask you for money. You give them that money and they take it to a practitioner to unalive you, to end you, to destroy your paths. Okay, so just be mindful. Let go of the exes. Stop volunteering yourself to be a rebound. It's not cute. I don't care if you're married to the person, been with them for 50 years. Being a rebound is not cute. There's nothing cute about it. It just says I'm on you. I don't know what I deserve in life. I don't think I deserve anything better than this. So I'm going to keep going back and repeating this karma cycle with this person because that's all I, I believe I deserve. Okay? And you'll always have people in life that are bothered with you being in this energy. I'm telling you, whatever story this is, it's for someone. And because, like, before I even say something, the cards are just coming out. Someone is bothered by you being in this energy. This is why they're going out of their way to destroy you. You have couples in here that are trying to destroy you. You have your ex in his uh, partner or just your ex. Some of you trying to destroy you. Some of you have a whole institution trying to destroy you. Some of you have a whole community trying to destroy you. The places you live, the places you work go to school, go to church, trying to destroy you. But they're doing it in subtle ways from behind the scenes so that you can never guess that it's them. But you know, you know. And some of them are going through some type of shocking experience. They said, we've done this many times before. Why are we not able to destroy this person? Why are we not able to destroy them? They'll find out. They'll find out. I mean... They will find out. You know, I'm telling you, you know what everyone is doing in here. Your ex may have even felt that you didn't know he was the one or she was the one causing you blockages in your life when you were around them. Some of you were so abundant in life before you got with someone specific. And the moment you got with them, your life, your blessings, they just stopped coming in. And you're like, I used to be able to manifest money. I used to be able to manifest friendships. I used to be able to manifest resources and things like that. But why am I not able to manifest that anymore? It's because of the energies you're around. These energies here. These narcissists, you're with them. And because some of them look good, they're beautiful, they're handsome, the devil comes in your ideal package. The devil comes, the devil speaks with a soft spoken voice. Hey, honey. And you'll never assume that it's them. But the whole time they're right in front of you. 
These are the ones that play church. They're Christian. They're Christian during the day, but at night they're in the graveyard digging up uh, bodies and things like that to do death magic. They have altars in their homes, dark altars, witchcraft closets, all kinds of stuff. And the whole time, they're right in front of you, acting like they're there to help you, but they're not there to help you. They're there to end you, block you. You tell them you're interested in dating someone, you think you've met your match, what do they tell you? I don't think so. You tell them, oh, is that is that person single? I want to give them an offer. Oh, honey, they are loose. They sell themselves. They do this, they do that. Don't know a goddamn thing about you. But they're telling everything about you. Make it make sense. They don't know you. You know what these people are doing. You know. <laughs> Some of you have gifts that terrify these people. But they'll never tell you. There's a couple in here. It's a Caucasian man. He's terrified of someone. He's terrified of a feminine energy. Because this man knows that you know everything about him. Everything he does behind the scenes. You may even know about this person's childhood. And it bothers him. It bothers, I said childhood. And the page of cups is here. It bothers him. There's something that happened to a masculine when he was a child. Uh-huh. And he hasn't been able to heal from it. That's all he sees. It bothers him. That is all he sees. Everywhere he goes is on his mind. He has not been able to get over that hurt, whatever it was. And that hurt has been building up in him for a long time. And it has turned him into a narcissist. So he thinks it's his mission to destroy other lives he don't want to see you abundant he don't want to see you happy he don't want to see you content he don't want people to know that you are kind gen generous respectful he's bothered by your intuition your gifts and things like that this is one of the people where you predict something and he'll laugh about it he said look at that dumb dumb she don't know what she's talking about he don't know what he's talking about but what you're re predicting is going on in his life behind the scenes, but he's doing his best to hide it. I'm telling you, he's doing his best to hide it, but you can't. He can't hide it. Someone, there's a narcissist going through some type of ending. He's being humble. Someone felt invincible because they had money. They had money, so they thought they were better than you. Uh huh. They were able to get a community to work with them to destroy you. I'm telling you to destroy you. There's a plan. They're planning something. They are planning something. They're gonna keep going because they want to destroy a twin flame connection. You're meant to be with someone, so you have the ex that's coming in to give you a false offer just to break your heart again, and then you have a whole group of other people and individuals doing things behind the scenes to block this union. They wanna put an end to it. It's not gonna work. You have a new lover coming in. I'm telling you, they're all watching you. They're all watching you. They're all watching you. That's all they do. And you know they're watching you. You know. You have practitioners that are watching you too. They've hired some of these practitioners to watch you, send you energy, but the energy is not making it to you. It's not making it to you. Okay? It is not making it to you. I'm telling you, honey. <laughs> Someone took some type of action that is leading to an ending for them. You're moving on to new life, going through some type of rebirth. And someone took some type of impulsive action and it has ensured an ending for them. Okay? It has ensured an ending for them. Excuse me. Because they're very impulsive. Extremely impulsive. Okay? Someone, I'm telling you. Okay? Lord have mercy. All the characters are popping out. Someone working together with either a wife figure, a girlfriend, whatever, baby mama, mother, is over with. Their plan was to come in and dead you. 
I said there were two couples in here. You see how it came out, right? And they don't have to be like romantic, but two pairs of people. You have the King of Wands and the Queen and the and the Empress here. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. There are two couples in here. Oh man. This is this is crazy. All for two people not to come together. All for two people not to come together. And every action that narcissist is taking is just getting worse and worse for him. Like someone is manifesting their own ending. He's stuck going through financial lag. Whoever your ex is, honey, <laughs> the kind of karma they're going through and are about to be going through is ridiculous. It's a nightmare. Someone went out of their way to block you from having connections with anyone. So if you needed help, no one was there to offer you help. No one was willing to offer you help because this person has smeared your character so horribly. People thought you were filth. People thought you were death itself. People were repulsed by you. They, they believed him or her. So they went up against you. Now that the, the tables are turning, the tables are turned, balance is being brought into this situation. Whoever that ex is needs help and they cannot get help from anyone. They're stuck. Someone needs money. Someone needs a place to live. Someone wants to have a connection. They may even be going through some type of separation. Maybe he's now trying to leave the person he was with. I don't know where he's going to go, but someone needs help. They're stuck in something they cannot get out of easily. Someone may be on the run. It's a whole lot going on. I'm telling you, he may be on the run because this is his future. He may be on the run because this is his future. Hmm. And they're all watching to see how this is going to play out. I said, we, we stopped everything. We blocked their money. We blocked their pathway. We blocked everything for her and him. Let's see how. Yeah, how. Let's see how they're going to get out of this. And you got out of it. And you still have people out here trying to get away with something. You're not. They're just ending themselves. Trying to, trying to, I don't know if they're trying to steal, they try to steal new beginnings for you, your victories and things like that, new offers, trying to steal those they can't. This is, this is crazy. They can't. You literally have someone that pay, I don't know if it's a wife or just a mature woman to steal something. Block something, lie about something, just do something horrendous, and it's causing a battle between these people behind the scenes. A fight, there's a whole argument going on, and it has to do with you what they did to you. They wish something for you, and they're not getting it. They thought you were out, they had wiped you out cold. They say, hey, I'm going to pay you this amount. I need you to block them, right? They say, oh, if you do this, they're going to they're gonna lose their mind. They're going to be angry. They're going to get pissed off. And you stay calm through the whole situation, just watching these people take action. And the fact that you stay calm confuse them. Why? Why are they not getting upset? They're not getting this offer. We, we blocked this offer for them. Why are they not is that you have a misconception you're delusional you are delusional it's i don't know what the heck what the heck is this mess what the heck is this mess and it came out what the heck is this mess why is someone x this irritated by them moving on why is your ex this irritated about you moving on? Some of you have been single for a long time and someone is bothered by that. 
or that's how they wanted it and now that you're about to get into some type of union oh honey they're losing their bunkers they are losing their bunkers they're telling people she belongs to me he belongs to me you don't belong to a mother effing person but the most high you don't belong to a mother effing person but the most high i'm telling you you don't belong to them this person is dark they're used to having control over people this is someone who when they break up with uh women or women leave them they go and stalk those women until they can get back into their life and then they find some type of way to stay attached to them someone has a hard time with letting people go this is because they're dealing with something from a childhood maybe their mother was not loving maybe their mother didn't stand up for them maybe they had an absent absent mother or something like that or some type of toxic relationship with their mother and it's been following them their whole life so they don't know how to let go it's like my mother didn't show me love you showed me love so i had to keep this connection with you because this is a replacement of my mother's love and this is a grown man this is a grown man but while you're with him he's not nice he's not uh compassionate he's not genuine he's not caring someone is emotionally unavailable because they are narcissists and now they're, that they're going through some type of financial insecurity they want to come back so they can hover over you be your watcher be your protector but that's they're not protecting you the devil only comes to steal kill and destroy that's all it comes to do and that's that person coming into your life okay and they this person works against you they work against you they were collaborating with people to have you trapped in something and it didn't work it didn't work okay it did not work someone may have went and committed themselves to someone they thought was like you and now someone else is coming in to i'm telling you they thought this person was like you but they're not like you he went and committed himself to a queen of pentacles and he thought this queen of pentacles was a better option than you but he's trapped with her honey everything i freaking am trying to say is just coming out this man is in something he cannot get out of this woman may not want to let him go because she don't want him to come towards you this is that we've worked together to destroy your ex what do you mean you're going to go to your ex or oh, i've done this to destroy your ex i'm a better option you can't go back to her He's stuck with this woman. I don't know if they got married for money. I don't know if they got married for money. Or uh, something. Convenience. Because I'm not seeing no love in here. I see toxicity. I see a lot of pentacles in here. Which means it has something to do with money. And he's showing up in the King of Cups energy because this is someone you're familiar with. The Cups cards for me has to do with familiar familiarities. The like relatives, uh, lovers, people you're familiar with, you're familiar, brother, husband, exes, right? And then maybe husbands and partners, but you're very familiar with this person. They left you or you, when you left, they went and quickly got into a commitment with this person. And they thought that she was the better version of you. And he after around and found out, oh, it's not so. It's not so. And then you have another one where a wife and the husband committed themselves to something they didn't understand. And now they're trapped in some type of toxic, I don't know if it's a coven or whatever this is. I mean, they can't get out of it. So the husband is out here doing stupid stuff he don't want to do because it's childish as heck. And he knows it's not working. But honey, yeah, he accepted that offer. Now he's stuck in it. He's stuck in it. She's stuck in it. They're both stuck in it. Good. This is why you have to read the fine print. Read the fine print. Don't be quick to accept money from people. Even if you're going through poverty, we've all gone through some type of like, state of like in our lives. I could tell you all about mines. I've gone through it. I'm just now making it out of mines barely but honey it weren't nobody coming in during that time to give me an offer that i was going to accept that was going to have me trapped in something 
I had someone that tried it. No, thank you. No, thank you. They thought I didn't see what they were doing. Someone thought they were going to deceive me. And I was just going to go walk blindly into accepting an offer from them so I could be attached to them for however long. No, thank you. My ancestors got it. Actually, I saw this person coming in advance. And when they were coming to me to give me the offer, I said, ancestors, I need you all to be the one that get me out of this situation. Because I don't want to be attached to anyone where I end up being in like an alleyway on my knees doing anything for money. I, I don't move that way. You all already know that. That's not me. I'm not doing it. So I need you all to be the ones that get me out of this situation that I'm in. And honey, they came through. Oh, they came through. They came through. And I'm grateful. They absolutely came through. And one thing I also don't like, I'm like, whoever is coming towards me, if they're coming in to give help and they're coming in here to go give me help so they can tell people, oh, I helped her do this. I gave her, please keep them out of my energy. Well, honey, thank you. Don't be too quick to accept help. Even if things look like, exactly, even if things look like uh, 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 they're just never going to get better, you just feel like it's the end of the road for you. Be very cautious. When you think you need things in life, that's when you will make any decisions. That's when you'll just be eager to accept offers from anyone because you feel like you need something. You don't need anything but yourself and God. Okay? But there are people in life who they feel like they need the money. And if they don't have the money, then they are not, you know, they're not uh, powerful enough. They're not relevant. They don't feel vindicated. That's because they're superficial. Don't restrict your value to material things. That's a limiting belief. If someone were to tell you, if you don't do this, you're going to lose all your money, let them take all the money. That's better for you. That should let you know that's not something that's genuinely yours. Not on a spiritual level, not physically. If someone can threaten to take it away from you. Because what's meant to be yours and what is yours truthfully cannot be taken from you. So if someone can tell you, hey, if you don't do this, I'm going to take this position away. If you don't do this, I'm going to take this money away. If you don't do this, I'm going to take this person away. Let them take it away. Take it away. You know, as a matter of fact, let me give it to you. Goodbye. Someone is freeing themselves uh -huh, from uh, energy so that they can have a new start somewhere else. Someone is healing, and that's what's important to him. He's letting go of toxicity. Someone wants to have a genuine connection with their twin flame. They want to start a new life, possibly with a king, queen of cups. So the, you may have people behind the scenes trying to steal from you. I'm telling you, once I have a genuine connection with you, this could be an emperor showing up in his king of pentacles energy. And he's going through some type of awakening. This man is going through an awakening. But someone wants to have a genuine connection with you. They may want to meet up with you. You two could end up meeting accidentally, but it's divinely orchestrated. But someone, there's a woman behind the scenes, a wife character, whoever, she's planning to do you something, honey, it's not going to happen. She's wasting her time. I'm telling you, it's not going to happen because you're protected, you're secure. She wants to end you because you have an, I'm telling you, you are protected. Okay, I didn't even know this car was like that. And here, it goes. listen, you are protected. There's nothing she can do. At this point, she's wasting her time. Everything she's doing is for entertainment purposes, just like this video here. <laughs> it's all for entertainment purposes, just like my terror video. But your victory is ensured. Your ancestors are making sure that it is ensured. Okay? It is absolutely ensured. You're protected. You're secure. So they can plot and plan all they want. Someone is really just desperate. She's desperate because this is not how empresses move. They don't steal. They don't destroy. They don't own a life. They don't rob. They're not low vibrational. They don't gossip. They don't accept bribery for anything. 
you come to an empress energy a genuine one and you give them money to go do something they, they'll they'll look at you in a way that'll make you feel so low about yourself swing low swing cherry coming back to carry you home you to the chariot out here they're taking you home to the bottom of the barrel where you belong yeah oh you sure you want to do that okay So someone thought maybe they were going to un unalive you before you could receive an offer. Someone thought they were going to do you something before you could receive an offer. It's not so. You're secure. Yo, listen, your ancestors ain't playing about you. They are not playing about you. The decision has been made for there to be forward movement, for you to move on, to accelerate. Okay? I think I'm going to uh, order, try to order some new uh, angel uh, messages cards. Because I feel like at some point these are becoming redundant and repetitive. Um, so I'm going to try to order new ones so that we can have new messages, folks. Um, I was trying to add some like or oracle cards to my reads as well. We'll see how it goes. But I've gotten like so used to just the tarot cards because I like know the meanings and what everything symbolizes and things like that. And it really helps. So I feel a little bit hesitant to add the oracle cards in there. So, um, is this going to complicate things for me? But I'll see how it goes. I'm trying to expand a little bit, but even though they're trying to block my platform, but you know, and it's not YouTube, it's someone else doing it. So YouTube doesn't have a problem with me. It's uh, another character that's playing with my platform. So anyways, I'm not about to be out here that YouTube is doing this and they're doing that. It's not them. It's someone else. But honey, I want you to know everything that you are taking from me, you're going to lose 10 times over. So just keep that in mind. Everything that judgment has been made, everything you and your powers are taking from me, you're going to lose 10 times over. Okay? And I'm going to get on here every day and create beautiful content from my watcher, my true soul tribes, which I know there are two groups of people that watch me. The ones that actually come here to enjoy the content and then the haters. But honey, just so you know, everything you're stealing from me, you're blocking from me, everything you're going to lose 10 times over. Okay, let's read our angel number. We have 22 uh, and it sums down to full protection, things like that. It says you are in possession of incredible creative powers and it it's assured that you can achieve anything you wish. I am aligned. Hallelujah. Hey, collective. There's your message for you. If you thought twice, don't think about it twice, honey. Okay? There's your reminder. If you didn't know, you are in perfect alignment. Okay? To achieve all of those creativity goals. Apparently, you're someone very creative. Just amazing. Don't let anyone distract you, honey. Don't let anyone you know, uh, discourage you or anything like that. Stay on the course. You're on the right path. You know, when you are doing something in life that you actually enjoy, you don't worry about all the little fluff and stuff. You know, people trying to do this, people trying to do that. Honey, that's a blessing. That means that you are going somewhere. If you were not going somewhere, people will not be going to that extent to try to block you. Okay? But you are going somewhere in life. You have a calling on your life and you have some type of and you're going to fulfill it, honey. You have a calling and a purpose. Okay, we have 10, which is the number of completion, okay? It says, you have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all of the details. Then direct others how to carry things out. I am ingenious, okay? Okay, 29. And it comes down to 11 and 2, which is the number of soul twins, collaborations, coming together, manifestation. It said you are hard, highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. I am insightful. 
the word creative creativity is coming out a lot okay so something you do could have to do with your uh, creativity or your purpose your path may have to do with your creativity your mind your intuition uh-huh anyways thank you so much for watching stay blessed see you in my next video goodbye for now